This is your 10 minute chest and back finishers workout. This is going to be a workout that is gonna help you improve your posture while also toning and strengthening your chest and back muscles. And the only thing you need for our workout today is going to be moderately heavy dumbbells for the 10 different exercises we have. We are gonna work for 40 seconds. We're gonna get 20 seconds of rest. Things are gonna move quick, but it's going to be a super effective 10 minutes. So we're gonna get into our first exercise, which is going to be a bent over right arm row. So grab that heavy dumbbell and let's do this. So bringing it down here, resting that arm, 40 on the clock. Here we go. Get that full range, Arms, arm is down. We squeeze up, hold it at the top for a second. Feel that shoulder blade around your spine, keeping that core engaged. Back stays straight. So you can think about sticking that chest out here a little bit to make sure that back is staying straight. Whew. We're gonna be mixing it up here between back and chest. We're gonna switch it to the other side next. Here's three, two, and last one. Good. We're gonna switch it over to that other side. Whew. Rowing now on the other side, bring it down. We've got less than 10. Back flat, core engaged. Here we are, here's three, two, and one. Let's row. Again, take your time, squeeze shoulder blade around the spine. Now again, we're working to build that good posture in this workout too, so think about your posture throughout this workout as well. We're thinking form, we're thinking posture, full range, going heavy. We've only got 10 minutes and we're gonna make every second count. Almost there. Then we're gonna bring it to the mat. We have chest press next. Here's three, two, one. Woo. Grab two dumbbells, meet me on the mat. Getting ready for chest press. Rolling it back, we've got 10 seconds. Let me move my pack. Good, arms up. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squeeze those chest muscles right here. Think about that contraction as you press up. Exhale, wrists stay straight. Good, down and squeeze. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Nice. Whew. Breathing. Dumbbells off to the side. You might want to go down just a little bit in weight. We are doing scapular retractors. I love this exercise for the back. I am telling you what, <laughs> you might feel this one tomorrow. Back flat, core engaged. It is a small move. We go in three, two, and one. Squeeze, good, hold it at the top. So you just wanna think about bringing those shoulder blades around the spine, squeeze, stick that chest out, hold it, and then down. Good, keep that good posture here, sticking that chest out, squeezing belly button to spine. Whew. This one is so good to help keep that posture strong. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome. Reverse grip row. Grab dumbbells for that. Palms are gonna be facing away from you. Moving quick, we got less than 10. Back flat, core engaged, hinge, hinge it over here. We're going in three, two, and let's row, here we go. Take your time again, hold it at the top for a second, squeeze, and down. Arms stay close to your body. Now as you row, squeeze up. Good, that exhale comes as you squeeze those arms, or squeeze the shoulder blades around your spine, I should say. 
You can feel this in the arms and those biceps as well with this reverse grip. Biceps absolutely coming in as a secondary muscle there. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. We're gonna bring it down. Now we're gonna work chest flies. And then we're also gonna have a pullover. So if you want to grab your dumbbells for chest fly and pullover, you can do that. Whew. Let's bring it to the mat. Chest flies first. Roll it on back. Again, think about squeezing those chest muscles. We go here in three, two, and a one. Open up wide. Wrist stay straight and then squeeze up. Good, down and squeeze. As you start coming up to the top to really get that contraction in the chest, think about bringing your pinkies together. I like to tap the ends of my dumbbells where closest to my pinkies to get that little contraction. So think about it, squeeze it, good. Exhale as you come up. Almost there. This is three, two, and one. Going for that pullover. I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell here. You can definitely use two. All right, arms are up. We go in three, two, and one. Drop the weight back and pull over, squeeze. Keep that core tight. Stop the arms when they are straight up towards the ceiling. So arms perpendicular to the floor there. And exhale. Awesome. Three exercises remain, and we're gonna go back to those first three exercises we worked. The right row, left row, and then chest press. And then you've made it. And we get to count down here. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring it up to your feet. Right arm row. Keep it strong. Grab that dumbbell. We go in three. Here's two and one. Let's row. Keep that arm close to your body. Work at your own pace, but make sure you got that squeeze around the shoulder blade and then control down. Whew. Now, this quick 10 minute finisher, this is awesome to add. Really, after any workout, if you are working to build up the chest in the back, if you want to help work on your posture, lift the chest, tighten that back up, this is going to be perfect. Add this one, two times a week. And if you're consistent, results are gonna be a little bit quicker. Whew. Almost there. Here we are. Three, two, and one. Switch it over, other side. Bring it down. 10 minutes, I am like, it is raining in here. Whew. Five seconds, get your dumbbell. Keep that core engaged, stick that chest out. Going in three. Two, and let's row. Good, down, and squeeze. Don't forget to breathe. Get that exhale at the top as you contract that muscle. If you would keep me waiting, I would wait a lifetime. In tricky Almost there. Then we have one exercise left. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Moving on to the ground. Chest press. This is it. 15 seconds and we go. So get into position. Roll it on the back. Bring those weights up. 40 seconds and we have made it. Here's three, two, and one. Let's press. Squeeze the chest muscles. Come on, burn it out right now. This is it. Ooh. 
And if you ever do need a quick 10 minutes, if you are just super short on time, but you're like, I gotta get chest and back in today. Do not forget this workout. <laughs> As you can see, this one's got you covered. Almost there. Here's three, two, oh yes. You made it, you are amazing. Way to go, I am so excited you showed up for the finishers. Now do not forget to get a stretch to finish out in the best way possible. I love you so much and I will see you for our stretch. Thanks for working out with me.